In Matthew chapter 8, we read the account where Jesus heals the servant of a Roman officer. Here in Matthew chapter 8, verse 5, it reads, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Other translation says, speak the word only and my servant will be healed. Verse 9, for I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 13, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed at that same hour. Now, I want to concentrate on verse 8. The Roman centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Here in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8, Jesus is returning from Capernaum, and there's a Roman officer who has a paralyzed servant, and the Bible says that he's in terrible pain. And this Roman officer comes pleading to Jesus to come and heal his servant. Now Jesus, who is always full of compassion, says to this officer, I'll come to your house and I'll heal your servant. But listen to what the response of this officer is. He says, Lord, I'm not worthy of having you in my home. So just go ahead and speak the word And I know, he says, my servant will be well. So today, I just want to encourage somebody that is watching this today. You may be dealing with something that is far above your power and ability like this Roman officer was. And even though it may be above your power and ability, listen, it will never be greater than the word of God. This man, this Roman officer, he understood how much power was in the spoken word of Jesus. And he says to him, he says, All I need for you to do is just speak the word. And today, I want to encourage you that whatever is attacking your life, to put a word on it like this Roman officer did. You see, the power that was in the spoken word of Jesus is the same power that is also in the written word of God. And the written word of God coming out of your mouth has just as much power as the spoken word coming from the very lips of Jesus on that very day. See, so the question is this, what are you dealing with today? Is it sickness? Then put a word of healing on it. Is it lack? Then put a word of abundance on it. Is it fear? Then put a word of joy on it. Is it doubt? Put a word of faith on that situation. Whatever it is, my friend, that you are dealing with, learn to put a word on your situation. And that word will supernaturally turn your situation around in Jesus' mighty name, just like it did for this Romans officer's servant. So my friend, listen, let me encourage you. Learn to put a word on your situation. Get into God's word. Find God's word. Speak God's word. And declare God's word over your situation. And when you do, just like God turned that young man's situation around, God is going to turn your situation around in Jesus' mighty name.